Hello, this is Blood Bowl Grud again. We are coming to you live from the Grud Cave. Today, we're playing a league match in the Empire League that I run. And there is my Orcs versus the Goblin team of somebody called Law, which sounds quite ominous. Um, he's online, so I've invited him. Um, he's got a very low team value, so I imagine he is just going to foul. Um, so what's he going for in terms of incentives? He's gone for the journeyman, which he needed because his team was short anyway. Um, and then he's obviously having a think. Uh, goblins! I wish I knew more about them. Fungus, bomber, dribble snot, couple of bribes, takes them up to 240 out of the 250. So, and of course, bribes for goblins are half price. I've got a huge cup of tea, so I will attempt to keep it out of shot so that um, it doesn't wobble the camera at all. So, what do we have here? We're starting the match. Um, Really, I always like the option to receive the ball. Um, and against goblins, they are a bit lively. And getting a few good strikes in, if he doesn't put his trolls on the line of scrimmage, would be quite nice. I'd quite appreciate that. Um, it's only the second round of the league, and we started with a 1,000 TV value teams. So the chances are that he won't have built up um, players with anything. I did have a quick look before the match. And if you're playing on Blood Bowl 2, it's always worth having a look at what your opponent's going to be fielding. Um, it gives you an idea, you know, it could be that they've had one level up and they do that horrific thing of they've got a big guy with block because they fluked the dice roll. Um it, it could be anything. So it's always worth... Oh, I'm at Grudison Park. Hopefully you get that. Um, and as you can see, it's got a bog-standard build. I believe it's three Black Orcs, four Blitzers, the Troll. Jobs are gotten. Not messing about with Goblins or Throwers with this team. Um, they appear to be wearing lovely metallic pink armour, but I believe the actual armour in Blood Bowl 2 is called... White Tiger, which sounds like some kind of bizarre elven makeup or um, aftershave. So they do have. Right. So Fungus is the ball and chain, and Bomber Dribble Snot is, of course, the bomber. So. I should expect to potentially... Oh, I've got to go defence. Right, so this means... What does it mean? Um, we don't really want anybody massively significant on the line of scrimmage because chum, they will get stomped. Um, so, do I do three of them there? Quite probably, actually. Um, and then I'll offset them slightly. Keeping them apart. Um, and I think we might go for something like that. The blitz is at the back. It's Hopefully they won't get anything too advantageous. I've split up the line of scrimmage just because... Of the ball and chain. Now, uh, the bombers are quite cunning. They can throw great distance at the moment. He's got them on his bench. Um, they throw, they blow up in an area effect. Um, it is what it is. Goblin's crazy and they're slightly more likely to hurt the opposition, but if it goes well, they'll just kill themselves. The chainsaw, of course, is there. Um, in fact, yeah, Baron's Blender, he's the loony. Fungus is the star player. Strength, seven. It's craziness. Um, 
So he's just basically weathering the storm and then attempting to get the ball off them. Um, it's one of those things that when you play a goblin team or a halfling team, it's very easy to sit back and think, great, stunties, here's some SPP to farm. But they do have, as you can see, they've got stunty, which, you know, dodging, um, they've got dodge, they've got the right stuff, so they can be thrown. So although it's quite easy to look forward to playing a stunty team, good luck to mate. Um, they're not always the write-off that you think that they might be. Right, I think I'll just try and put it slightly to one side. Um, both teams lose a turn. I'm not sure who that favours, to be honest. It's early in the match. Um, so, I don't know. It, losing a turn, it's kind of this early in the match. It makes no difference whatsoever. If you lose a turn at the start of the second half and you're down, then it's never good. Never good at all. Um, oh, right. So he's having a bit of a run out. That is fine. The chainsaw is probably going to blitz at some point. It'd be a shout too. Uh, trolls. There we go. I mean, trolls versus orcs. Trolls have got mighty blow. Orcs have got AV eight. Sorry, AV nine. So um, fingers crossed they'll survive. Um, and then push comes to shove. When we um, see what happens if they all. <sighs> KO this early. That's not brilliant, but never mind. Um, is it going to be foul time? He's got the um, three re-rolls, which is quite handy. Um, and the thing I've found when playing against goblin players, um, a goblin player that really knows what he's doing is a thoroughly unpleasant thing because lots of fouling lots of stamping um, as you can see I've already lost one player off the pitch um, I do have one reserve and hopefully that's enough he's picked up the ball it's a complete disaster um, what do we have here yeah, we've got the loony so we could probably do with attempting to get the loony off the side of the pitch um, right, let's have a look at what we can actually do here. Um, oh, it's two uphill. Um, hmm. And that is covering. Let's have a look. What do we have here? What we'll do is we will. Right, the action is all on the right hand side of the pitch at the minute, so I might. Um, I think we don't really want to feed let's go for some of that see what happens we could do it with something that's what we like. We will follow up just in case. Right. I have potentially... Oh, he's come back. But that is nice. That we like. 
Um. Um. Right, do I want to chance it? Very worrying whether or not it's four, five, six, and if I move him there, I need to re roll and then punch him. Oh. quite determined to do that and for some reason <sighs> my lineman here Graruk was in the tackle zone of the troll which meant I didn't have enough to get that block which means that that loony is um, fungus is just going to be living the dream um We've kind of closed him down a bit. We've got rid of his throwing option, which we like. Um, chainsaw against Troll. Um. I'm just putting a gladi regen for you down there. Um, you never know, he might take pity on me and not fail me when I'm down or he might just decide to murder me because I've come across um, and he's putting the yeah, team would have been utterly ruined and this is this is one of the things about facing halfling or goblin teams, I played, played a halfling team a little while ago and he had two trees and he had deep root and it was just carnage. It really was. And as you can see, Fungus is just living the dream. Um, I'm trying to work out. If he's only got those tackle zones, then I can move some of my players out, which we like. Um, so, what are we going to do? We've got a couple of people based down here. Which is good. Um, we call that. Um, wherever the ball goes, we're just going to have to concentrate. Because when, rather than if, there's some form of goal or carnage, that second troll of his is going to come on. And that's something we really do without. He's going for the dodge. Making goblin players roll dice is partially what it's all about. Um, let's see he's still trying to make his mind up so fingers crossed that the pitch is soaked with the blood of goblin dead sooner than later um, points wise I drew in the first match um, against the wood elf team played by a really good coach called Steve who's a good mate of mine and the Orcs managed, we were 2-1 down, and in the turn 16, we managed a turn 16 touchdown, which was luck rather than judgment. Um, so, let's have a look. We have... No, that is a tackle zone, that's slightly disappointing. Right, so what are we going to do? I think we get him in a tackle zone. We <clears throat> go there to assist the troll and try and prevent him from failing too badly. Let's have a look. Let's bring him back here. 
Right, let's move him there. So, what do we have? Let's move him kind of round here. We could do with probably some form of sweep in case he manages to um, get to the get to the troll. Uh, troll against that one. Let's go for this first because there's three dice. Right, that we like. I think I will follow. Oh, got a stun. That's not too bad. We'll attempt this. Um, we do need to um, right now. We're cooking up slightly. Um, Reducing his numbers now. Because the chances of getting hit. I've dodged him. Oh. Relatively nice. And I think I'll put him there. And that. As you can see. I'm trying to get out of the way. Of this fungus. Ball and nut job. Um, because even if they're down on the floor near him. They will hurt him. Um. Travesty. That's what it is. Um. He does like trying to break the armour. Um, and he's just put can't break armour. So quick. Thank you. Dot 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 back to him <clears throat> um, this is one of the he was mentioning that if he'd lost his troll his team would have been in big trouble and I do think um, if you're relying on one big guy um, like the troll here losing the troll would be bad but team value would drop and you'd kind of be okay but I think with goblin teams with the two trolls undead with the um, that was nice um, he failed the dodge then. Um, and undead with the two mummies. It's... Right. It's always going to be... Um, a bit of a challenge. Right, we'll tie him up. Right. Tie that up. There's a few in tackle zones. Now, we could... Just blitz up the pitch. He's got block. He's managed to do something there. Um, right, another KO. We like that quite a lot. So that's my blitz gone. We'll move him up. We will keep him there. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll move him there. So we're kind of isolating the troll, but also attempting to get people out of the way. I will stay. Absolutely all the powers. Right, so he is a line. Um, and I might fall because it is. It's just throwing somebody into their half that. It might panic him slightly. He's going to try, hopefully, and keep one person on there. Let's try a dodge to get him out of the way. That did work. 
So, let's put him over here. And, I mean, he's looking all right. I'm one player down. He's going to use his chainsaw. Uh, changed his mind. So, uh, probably the chainsaw towards the end. I think, yeah, that is his blip. Chainsaw in the Black Orc. Um, luckily, another stun. So, it's all going relatively well at the moment. I've managed to get some orcs out of the way of that ball and chain. Um, there's a couple of tackle zones on the ball carrier. Um, I would think he's going to have to run. Um, and he has used his blitz, so yeah, I imagine he will be running soon. Um, and I've got some pressure on him. So, yeah, ball and chain... It's a push. I quite like push. Um, and I can never quite remember how much move they get. Um, where is this? Oh, it's his own troll. Um, is he going to go that way again if he can? Um, ball carrier. This is the big moment. If the ball carrier goes down, then of course it's there's a blitzer on top of him. That's a lot of dodges, and the ball is loose. The ball is loose. Um, he's had two sets of double ones, so. Nuffle is having a laugh. Um, right, so let's see what we can do here. Um, it's only a 50% pickup at the moment. Um, that is. What do we have? What options do you have for trying to improve that pickup rate? We could put the right. So he is going to go there. He is going to blitz him, which hopefully frees alignment. So yes, I am ganging up. That's what we like. He's stunned. Is any more move left? Um, he does. So I might just move it one. Um, he's going to move there. And then I really should be able to mathematically work out exactly how many block dice there are. But... Oh, he's done it. He's done it. Right. He's going to go there. He is going to go there. He's going to two dice block him. I'll follow. And then he Fair enough, we've moved it away slightly. He's got a few... Well, most of his goblins are on the floor. Um, whether I can fire myself up the pitch in three turns, we'll have to wait and see. Um, Law will obviously be trying to get some tackle zones on that ball. Um... And he is beating some of my players. Um, oh, right. He has... Right. 
right, so he's knocking the blitzer onto the ball. Right, that could have gone a lot better. Um, let's have a look. He's not standing his people up. So... So he's seven. So we've got one, three, four... Six. Right. Right, so he is KO'd. He is going there. Right. He is going to go there. And he There. He's managed miraculously to pick up that ball. Um, right, let's go for this little one. Oh! Turnover. I've got no re rolls, so it was worth a shout. Um, two dice, no block. Um, let's have a little look. He's got no SPP. He is stunned. It could have been worse. Um, troll. Got the push in. Right. So... He's going for it. He's going to throw some gobbos up there. Um, now you see that one. I've got no rerolls. So normally, what I would probably do is try and get the blitzer that's already got three SPP to score. So I'm at least getting one level up. But no. Um, so he's getting some gobbos up there. Fair play to him. Um, we have to make him roll some dice. So let's have a look. So. Mm 
No, I do not. I don't want to drop the ball. Sorry about that. A little quiet for a moment. Um, I will follow. Not really sure why. So, KO'd the other troll, which is actually really quite nice. Um, I will go there, which might mean it's off tackle zones, and then we will punch the chainsaw bloke and hope. Right, that means that the chainsaw bloke cool. So yeah, it went a bit quiet there for a moment, but it's the end of my turn, Evan. I'm ending the turn. Um, all about the bits. It's not a song, but it should be. Um, he needs to... He can do uphill dodge. He's used blip. So, he's probably going to knock himself out. Which, I must admit, the dice have gone all my way this half. Um, and the double one on the old chainsaw. It's turn eight. Um, there is no point in doing anything. Um, so, let's have a look. Um, we've got the score. We do like that. That's three SPP to another one of my blitzers. If I can get at least one level up, that's what I want. So, my orc is still knocked out. Ooh. So, let's have a look who's getting sent off. Um, bribe. So, I imagine he will use a bribe. Um, who else is being sent off? The ball and chain. And, oh, he let him get sent off. So I've got two re-rolls. He's still got a bribe left. He's got bomber dribble snot and a chainsaw on the pitch. So yep, it's the ball and chain that's gone. And we do have one goblin that's still unconscious. So he's got I have to do this occasionally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe he only has ten on the pitch. Um Right, now, I must remember to bring my troll on. I've done this quite a bit in the past, and I will leave. If I'm playing undead, I'll leave a white on the bench by accident. Um, so, right, let's have a look. So, feeling guilty about this. Um, he really is having a tough time. Um, so, what does he have? Right. Well, what we need is we need three linemen on that line of scrimmage. We will make sure that they all have no SPP. So, I'm not losing any of my big players. Right, so. <laughs> Let's go for something like that. Um, I could pretend that splitting the people up is a... Um, oh, they get a blitz. That is... I'm 1-0 up. I'm, I've been very lucky, so I can't deny them the blitz. Um, I imagine that the chainsaw will be blitzing in at some point so he stunned my blitzer okay 
Right, I think it could be quite a priority to blitz that chap. There's also the chainsaw, uh, which is one of the reasons to put the troll over here to avoid the obvious chainsaw blitz. Um, so, yep, here we go. That's what we like. So normally, if you didn't notice that, the chainsaw, of course, would be 10 plus, but because it's a chainsaw, the armor roll is 7 plus, means it's um, very... All right. So... We'll stick him over there to cover before going for the inevitable... Um, not managing to pick up the ball. Um, we need him. If we put him there, let's have a think. What do I actually want to do? Right, don't want to risk it. I mean, I'm getting a one dice by doing that as well. What's he got? Oh, he's got two dice there. Um, so I think I'm going to move him up because he's then going to um, hopefully blitz him out of his socks. We will follow just to throw the cat amongst the pigeons slightly. Right, I could really have done with that um, dead, dying, etc, etc. We're going to put him there to tie up some more. Um, right, so we do have a couple of hits at goblins. I suppose it's a two dice, isn't it? So... Um, if we can remove another couple of goblins or stop them from getting involved that would be nice um, what we'll do is we'll move him back and we will stay just to um, force him to use his blitz, blitz action there um Right, and now it's time to not pick up the ball. Skip. I could really do with picking up the ball. Let's have a look. Um, he... He's got three. And... He's got three. So actually, either of them picking up the ball is good. Um, a level up would be nice. Um, I think it's just going to become a bit of scrap in the middle of the pitch, um, which is not that unexpected. Trolls taking in turn, orcs punching goblins, goblins punching orcs, chainsaws, bombs, you name it, in this match. Um, do I really want to intercept and go? Because I think it's um, SPP. Wow. That was nice. That was nice. Um, I think he's going a little bit. I felt a bit guilty about the look thing, but now he's knocked out another orc. I'm feeling less guilty about it. So he's going to be running around trying to cause carnage. Um, what am I going to be doing? I'm not going to be reaching Bomber Dribble Snot this turn. Um, which is a shame, because he's just going to be throwing stuff about all the time. Let's see what we can do. A um, bit of dodging. Oh, he's going for the foul, isn't he? Right. Right. 
use the bribe. Okay. Right. Stop. Stunt him up. Have I managed to run? Um, he's on his arse. So hopefully he won't be throwing anything this turn. Um, he can get there. Um, what can he do? I think he... Right, I think we might be optimistic. He'll go there. So... We'll follow him up. Um, we're just going to try and tip a bit, I think. Now, come on, pick it up. He did pick it up. He is an absolute legend. Whatever the hell his little orky name is, he absolutely rocks. Um, just in case there is a knock somebody down and... Um, blitz through the middle with a chainsaw or something strange I'm going to um, just put that blitz so give him a little bit of space um, oh he's trying to free up Bomber I think um, <clears throat> right so injury no long term effect that's not too bad um, I am getting a little bit pushed about this half um, what do we have? I hate to look so that's two knockouts I've got a linesman and a troll knocked out and a line a line orc injured um, he's used his blitz so there's one poor little line orc that's going to get punched right in the face um, that's fine. He's following up with that bad boy. Um, bit of dodging. Bit more dodging. And even more dodging. She's got three more. I am making him roll dice. Better. It kept fending his dodge rolls. Um, but this is one of the things. You play orcs, and when you start playing halflings, goblins, any elf team at all, it suddenly becomes quite painful. Um, it does mean that if he does manage to dodge away, then hopefully get some tackle zones. Here's other people. So he dodged... And, yeah, I think because he dodged, my Black Orc, of course, doesn't get any um, of that beautiful, beautiful SPP. Right, so, let's have a look at what's going on. First of all... Let's attempt... So that is one dice. Um, that's that. So I think, right, we will move these orcs up. Because if I start rolling dice and I've not moved all up the pitch, then somebody is going to laugh in my face. Um, I think we'll put him there, just in case there's any dodgy blitzing from the middle of the boys. Um, now, who do I blitz? I think... 
I'm going to blitz like that. It may or may not work, but um, I think I am going to push. So I push him there, follow. It's a tackle zone on each of them. Um, right, got the block in there. Should I do this? Yes, I should. Right. I'm going to stay to free him up. And then this young chap here. I think he's going to go there. And then if we go one more time. It's still blocking the place up. I'm saving that reroll. We got two. It's not a life and death, and a lot of it will craziness is going on here. Um, oh, he's got a gouged eye. And I've not got Napo. Schoolboy error. Um, yeah, it is a schoolboy error. He's going for the big lob. Um, oh. Oh. Still on his feet. So. He does have a few people that could run around and interfere with my orc. Uh, no, not like that. So whether or not we manage to um, have a orc staying on the pitch, I don't honestly know. But we will wait and see. Now that's going to be the push because of course the troll doesn't have block. A troll with block on a goblin team would be horrendous and I would be far too scared so here big stretch lads have moved as in the chainsaw and the bomber um, and now it really is a case of me attempting to hold on I think we're probably going to get a two orc blitz possibly even a three orc blitz if he can throw them all in there um, let's have a look Where's it coming from? He is going for it and dodging. Right, so we liked that. Um, unfortunately, he's just removed another one of his players. But fortunately for me, um, that means that if I go here, can we we can flatten him? Right, so he just needs to run. He is running. Um, I could go for it. I think it would make that much of a difference. Um, but I'm going to attempt to take out the bomber because the last thing I want is for... Oh, I've already used my blitz action. Of course I did. Um, let's attempt... I'm going to move him there and I'm going to stay... So he's still in a tackle zone, and the chainsaw hopefully might not be able to run all the way around and get him. I don't really think there's any point in the uphill blocks against the trolls. The trolls are tied down. I mean, they can just punch my black orcs in the face next turn. Um, but punching a black orc in the face, uh, I don't know what would have charged you for that. 
thousand gold, punch a black orc in the face, and let me score. For a thousand, I'll definitely do that. Um, he's taken out another player. Um, so, what do we have? We've got a lineman who's missing. He's going for it twice, and then going to hit with a chainsaw. Um, so, he needs to dodge. We are getting to that situation where dodges are. Um, he's going to try and catch it. Can he catch it? Um, choose a player to attempt the interception. So he's taken him down. Um, so. Let's have a look. Right, not sure if you could hear that, but I've got a feeling that uh, my daughter has been asked to go to bed early. So, hence all the stomping and um, whinging and crying, which is fine. Let's have a look. Um, okay, so... We've got a lot of orcs on the floor. An awful lot of orcs on the floor. Now, is he going to be able to... No, he isn't. Right, so... What do we need? We need... Um... Right, he is a blitzer. He is... Right, let me wipe this out. What I actually need to do, I could do with taking out my dribble snot. So that's one thing. I could do with picking a ball. I can't make it. So... He... It's going to go here. He's going to go there. Then, I'm going to blitz the chainsaw. That sounds like quite a good plan, doesn't it? Um, I could really do with you falling over. That's the one we want. And he is stunned. That is very nice. Now, we will go here. We will do that, which we like again. And I'm going to stay. So I am not um, doing anything. Right, and then what I really need to do is pick up the ball. Uh, I need to pick up the ball. I did. Right. There we go. The ball has been picked up. I could probably do... ...with that. So... And turn. Now we are running out of rerolls. We're running out of time. So fingers crossed. This is fine. I believe his chainsaw play was stunned. Um, so um, let's see what's going on. He's going to attempt to get some goblins, and I think with a successful dodge roll, he can get two goblins. Um, so he could have a one dice block if he dodges against the ball carrier, 
which I mean, there's worse places for me to leave it. You know, one square away from his uh, end zone. Hopefully, my players are safe from the troll because if he blitzes with one of his trolls, it's going to get um, quite complicated. Um, he is throwing. He is. He's attempting to throw a goblin. Um, let's have a look. Um, did that work? Did he die? Um, no, he. I think he failed to land and threw it as well. So this is the other thing ogre teams, goblin teams, it's all very confusing. Now, going for the big one. He has knocked him over. Um, we do have... Right. So, let's see what's going on. Um, really stupid. And... Is the other goblin going to be able to dodge out of the way? Yes, he is. So, it's all about... Let's try and just blitz him out of the way. Let's just do it. Better re-roll that. Um, so, dodging. Let's push him that way. Um, I will follow up so he's in the tackle zone um, this one um, needs to go here um, I'm winning 1-0 at the minute that's Harry, my boy who has just popped in to see whether or not this orc can pick up a ball without any re-rolls and oh he has um, so let's see whether he can uh, seal the game i think to be honest oh look at what you could have won it's a bounce oh that was fluky. A bounce straight into the hands of the lineman. He is standing right next to the chainsaw wielding nut job. So I can score again. Um, but I imagine the blitz is coming in a moment and the blitz is coming in the form of a big chainsaw strike. Um, I think that that is probably it um, whether or not he can get the ball or not we will wait and see um, SPP, got this game. right not an amazing amount of spp harry um one injury touchdown i think it is now he is going to attempt to throw um 50 chance of landing let's see if um, he has landed. Right. So. Right, let's see what I can do. So he is going to go there. He is going to go there. He 
It's going to go there. Hey. Gonna go there. So he's got a dodge. Um, I think it is all about this little battle down this end of the pitch. Um, there is a certain purity about this with the fact that he needs to dodge. There's no rerolls left. Um, what's going on? You know, it's anyone's guess. I've run out of water. I've run out of tea. I've got no snacks. Can I hold on for the win? I can really do with it because this is the second game and I've only got one draw so far. Um, I'm not sure how he did in his first game. Um, but it's all slightly bizarre. Um, he needs to move. I would think. Um, I mean, fingers crossed he's going to move, roll some dice, you know, chainsaw up the bloke on the floor. Is he a... Uh, yeah, he's a stunned lineman. So if he chainsaws him up, I will bin him and buy another one. But whenever he rolls dice, there's a chance that something is going to go wrong. So in a situation like this, he's thinking a lot about what's going on. But, oh, it is my turn. I'll just put, thought it was your turn. My bad. Right, let's see what's going on. So he's run his chainsaw player up. He is... He's really stupid. That is good news. That is really good news. Is he going to throw his other troll up the pitch? Just to try and help. Um, he's blitzing with his other troll. Right, he does have the Black Orc. There we go. He's managed the dodge. So now I've got to do the dodge. see what's going to happen here. I've got a tackle zone on him. I've got a tackle zone on the other ones. I don't think there's any point messing about. Um, 
Let's see. No rerolls. Three plus go. Uh, three plus dodge. Two go for it. If this was the first half, I'd feel quietly confident. Oh. Right, there we go. One all. It's another draw. That was close at the end. That really was. Uh, slightly disappointed to throw the game away. Um, but I've got a lot of winnings. So I do validate the match. I didn't notice who um, had got the SPP. Let's just have a quick look. Let's have a look. Um, oh, Blitz had got the SPP. So that's all good. Um, draw. Done with some wasn't draw. But hope you enjoyed that. Um, I was quite tense during that match, clammed up a couple of times, but I'm Bob Grud, I'm coming to you from the Grud Cave, and you'll find Blood Bowl Grud on Twitch, and on Twitter, and on YouTube, so hopefully you have enjoyed it, and I will catch up very soon. You take care, stay safe, and um, I really wanted to kill more goblins, I really did. You take care, and I will catch you very soon.